way it's, the way it's healed and the way it's done so far, I mean, I'm blessed and thankful and just keep moving forward with it. Did it heal faster than the other two? I mean, you know what the timeline would be like on this. Uh, anybody. Yes, yeah, sir. It was about the same time as the other two. Did. How do you handle this quarterback battle? Uh, just go out every day and compete and work hard. I mean, it's left up to the coaches, and at the end of the day, they're going to make the best decision for the team. So it's just competing and working hard each and every day. Where do you feel like you are right now? I mean, sometimes you come back from injury, you've done it a couple times, but you can be, you can feel like that that particular part of your body stronger? Oh uh, yeah, I, I feel stronger, my knee feels good. I haven't had any, any bumps or any hiccups along the way, so it feels really good right now. And then how much does the whole thing slow down the second year in this offense? Uh, it slows down a lot. I mean, I realized that towards the end of the year last year, and then even coming into camp early, I think you, you have a better under, understanding of the offense and of the defense so it does a lot. We in the media have been talking about the quarterback battle for six months. Do you hear any of that? I mean, you hear it, but I, I try not to pay it any attention because at the end of the day, it's all the coach's decision, and they're going to make what they feel like is best for the team, so it's left up in there. When you talk about being more familiar with that in the second year here, what if you could go back and give last year's Will Gardner advice on something to do differently now that you know what you know now? What would be? Uh, just, I mean, it's not second guessing yourself and different stuff. I mean, you, you know the offense, but then you start second guessing yourself because you're not as comfortable with it. And I felt like going into the Boston College game, I was really comfortable with it. And I mean, unfortunately, things happen, but you can't. You got to put it behind you and move forward. So kind of trust your instincts. A yeah. What was it when you made that throw in the Boston College game and you were hurt? Did you know right away it was the same thing, or did you? I had a good feeling about it just because I, f I felt what I felt in there. But I mean, yes, sir, I, I kind of had a good idea. What's that like right away? Because. Coach McGee the other day said he never saw you down. Was that's, there? That's what I kind of come towards the sideline, and he was like, "What are you doing? Got to get back out." I mean, because it was still in the middle of a drive. So I was like, "Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll go back out there." But I mean, I knew I kind of had a feeling then that what happened. You did. Good. Did you go back out there for? A I went out right, back the rest of the series. Yes, sir. How difficult was that? Uh, I mean, it, it was hurting, but I mean, I couldn't show it. I had it. Was trying to convert. The, it was a third down. We tried to convert. I think we come up a yard short on a, on a pass. But I mean, it, it's difficult, but you got to put it behind you. I mean, and your adrenaline going so it's easy to then. Coach McGee. The guy who goes through the workouts, you know exactly how your body feels, but being out there and the moving parts and throwing the ball, are you surprised how well that you've been able to do? Uh, I, I am as far as it being my third one. I, was, I mean, the way it's healed this summer and reacted this summer, and I was a little surprised with it, but I, I'm thankful for it, and, and it's, it's done good so far. The coaches light 